The Chinese government is considering evacuating all Chinese nationals from Haiti. Foreign ministry officials said yesterday that if local conditions become too difficult and no other country could offer shelter to Chinese citizens living in Haiti, the government would be prepared to evacuate them. Apart from those in the country on official business, a spokesperson said there were about 10 other Chinese nationals living in Haiti as well as around 20 illegal immigrants. Amid the ongoing relief efforts following the seven magnitude quake, the capital Port-au-Prince has been hit by sporadic violence and looting. About 230 Chinese were in Haiti at the time of the disaster. Most are safe, but eight Chinese police officers died in a collapsed United Nations building. Their bodies have been flown home. Seven people have died and one is missing in landslides triggered by a low-grade earthquake in southwestern China. The 3.4 magnitude quake struck Guizhou province on Sunday evening. It was centered in the Guangling district, about 60 miles southwest of the capital, Guiyang. The Guizhou Earthquake Bureau said the earthquake was at a depth of about 7 kilometers. A spokesman said it triggered two landslides in separate locations, burying and killing at least seven people instantly as mud and large rocks tumbled down mountain sides. Nine people were injured and remain in hospital. Gunmen have kidnapped two Chinese engineers along with four Afghans in the country's northern province of Faryab. A local police official in Kaisar district where the men were abducted on Saturday evening said they had been working on a road project in the area with a Chinese company. They were reportedly traveling in two vehicles when gunmen seized them. The Afghan Islamic press news agency said the six had been seized by the Taliban. Northern Afghanistan has long been seen as relatively safe, but violence has increased in recent months. In October, the Taliban attacked a police post in the same area and took away eight officials. The Foreign Correspondent Club of China says the Google email accounts of at least two Beijing-based foreign journalists have been compromised. The group said the hackers changed the Gmail program settings so that all messages would be forwarded to unfamiliar addresses. The revelation comes a week after Google threatened to pull out of China over alleged hacking into its system and censorship issues. It also claimed that the Gmail accounts of a number of political activists had been hacked into from China. In response this week, the Chinese government said that hacking was an illegal activity in China and would not be tolerated. It also added that any company operating in the country must abide by Chinese law. A Chinese man wanted in connection with a massive fraud case has been repatriated from Canada after seven years on the run. China's Ministry of Public Security says Sui Zili is one of the first criminals deported from Canada since the country and China pledged to strengthen cooperation on repatriating fugitives. Sui is alleged to have worked with two accomplices who are already in jail on a scam that netted them up to $3 million. Last December, China and Canada pledged to strengthen cooperation on combating transnational crime. However, Canada is still home to a number of other Chinese citizens wanted by police here. At the top of the list is Lai Changxing, the lead suspect in a $10 billion smuggling operation. He fled to Canada in 1999 and Chinese authorities have been seeking his return to face charges of smuggling, bribery and tax evasion. Rescue workers have been evacuating thousands of rural residents from parts of northwestern China after extreme cold and blizzard conditions killed four people and left half a million snowed under. Around 100,000 homes were either destroyed or damaged by storms in Xinjiang and thousands of livestock are dead. Herders have moved thousands of others to safer pastures at lower altitudes ahead of the latest storm front, which is expected to last until tomorrow. Temperatures in parts of Xinjiang are set to plunge to minus 45 degrees Fahrenheit by midweek. And in the district of Altai, snow is still falling with accumulations of up to 3 feet already. Altai lies in China's extreme northwestern corner, 1,600 miles northwest of Beijing. And that's the BON headlines for now, but we'll be back with more news after this.